For the UGV as well as for other robots, we have a saying that is put a robot in your life, it will be the most loyal entity that will uh, be around you. What does ARRC focus on? What are its goals at large? The Autonomous Robotic Research Center in the Technology Innovation Institute aims at developing uh, algorithms and uh, methods, techniques, technologies uh, in perception, communication, control and uh, coordination of robots towards the autonomy of these robots in uh, specific missions. For example, areas of application are disaster recovery uh, or uh, monitoring of areas, surveillance of areas. All these autonomously without the intervention of the human unless this is, com is uh, com really needed and also in absence of infrastructures so doing the, the, the work by themselves without necessarily using uh, what exists around them. Tell us about the purpose of the UGV. So the unmanned ground vehicles we are building in the Autonomous Robotic Research Center is a versatile platform for navigation in uh, heterogeneous complex environments. Actually, our EGV can cross domain, like going from on-road to off-road, sand, snow or any kind of surface uh, in an agile way. Uh, the idea that is behind is to provide uh, humans, uh, human operators of uh, imagine a disaster uh, with uh, uh, devices that can actually go in areas that are either inaccessible for uh, humans or they might be dangerous, imagine a nuclear site for example, or where the humans is simply not needed and the machine can do the stuff by, by herself. Can you tell us about the science behind it? For the UGV as well as for other robots, we have a saying that is put a robot in your life, it will be the most loyal entity that will uh, be around you. This because basically with robots we know what we are doing, we are programming them in a certain way to act in a certain way. Uh, this is because behind there is all the science related to robotics, but uh, especially the main disciplines that uh, compose the robotics, so the perception, the vision, the AI, the communication, the control, the coordination and so on. And uh, this uh, is true for individual robots as well as for group of robots and for uh, personal application like having a robot that help in the house as well as for uh, uh, robots for factories. Tell us about the features of the UGV. The UGV within the Autonomous Robotic Research Center is developed by the System Prototyping, Integration and Testing team led by Anwar Tuibi. And the objective uh, in mind that they had was to integrate special features both in the hardware and in the autonomy stack in order to make the platform versatile enough to be integrated in other platform hardware or augmented with other uh, algorithms or other uh, schemes that can be uh, easily implemented on top of the current one. Special features, uh, I will mention the, the locomotion platform that allows our UGV to go on, on road, off-road, climb, uh, move on different surfaces like snow, sand, etc. And uh, the re-identification that, uh, scheme that has been uh, recently released, uh, which allows the UGV to recognize someone that has been in the, in the field of view and that has been uh, identified before already. What are the biggest advantages of the technology? So our UGV, even if it uh, might seem simple, is actually the combination and the aggregation of uh, communication devices, uh, control devices, cameras, perception uh, uh, devices and so on. So it's actually a complex uh, device that uh, uh, is born out of the integration of all these parts together, which uh, means a lot of effort to integration by our sprint team. Um, the, the specific features, as I mentioned before, is our locomotion platform that actually, as I said, uh, may possible the transition from on-road to off-road, for example, or uh, from a flat uh, environment surface to a climbing one where the, the, the robot is requested to go up. Uh, at uh, the same time, uh, our main objective, that is uh, one of the characteristics that uh, make it different from, uh, from other robots in commerce, is the fact that uh, we aim at having 100% autonomy uh, implementable on the, on the robot. How will the solution focus on amplifying safety? 
Yes, our well, idea for the UGB that we are building is uh, to help support and even replace humans in uh, scenarios where, for example, the human presence is not uh, possible. Imagine a disaster scenario. Uh, so our idea is that humans uh, stay away from the, the place where uh, that has been hit by the disaster itself and we send a robot that, uh, of course, uh, is not uh, as worth as a human life. So in this, in this way we aim at amplifying the safety of the operators, first aid operators for example, uh, but also uh, the exploration of areas where uh, human hasn't put his, uh, his foot yet and uh, help with the mapping an environment that is, uh, that is unknown. What is the vision for the UGV in the future? What we have done until now, it's, it concerns only a single robot. So all the, the behavior of, uh, of the robot is implemented on the single one and uh, we imagine already to have several applications po possible out of this, uh, this implementation. However, uh, our idea is to make them work together. So imagine if we amplify the, the characteristics of a single UHV in a group of robots that are able to perform a mission cooperatively uh, this would open uh, a lot of scenario where uh, the, the coordination and cooperation can actually perform much better in a faster way, more convenient way and again in a safer way for humans.